Hi everybody, welcome to day 8 of my 12 days of Carrie. <laughs> So we have some family things planned. I'm gonna be doing a bit of cooking. I'm planning on making like a pork roast with potatoes and cheese tray and just a bunch of little appetizers. I'm not gonna be going out anywhere, but I think today the holster that I'm gonna show you is the flashbang. Okay, which is this one right here. And this actually attaches to your bra and that's how you carry your gun with a flashbang. I'll try to show you this in like a tasteful way. This is not that kind of channel. This one holds the Glock 42, which is a 380. I have a very short midsection. My torso is very short. So carrying a larger gun than like a small 380 is pretty impossible for me. Even this is difficult because of my shape, but I'll show you guys how I do that. And I hope you're all having a great new year. Welcome to 2021. This is my first video I'm filming this year. I hope that this year is full of health and happiness and positive memories for all of you. We actually have to walk the dog. I'm gonna take the boys and Mila out for a walk in the woods and then we'll get started on the home stuff and I'll show you how I'm gonna carry. Don't forget to comment in this video so that you can win a palm pepper spray. Seven winners so far for the previous seven days and I've got five more pepper sprays to give out. I'm giving away palm pepper spray one for each video. So comment below, I pick a random winner and then I announce it in the next video. So I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you in a bit. So here I've got a Glock 42 inside a flashbang holster. The thing about this one is that when I got it, I didn't like that the holster completely covered the back of the gun because of the way the grip works, I wasn't able to get a good grip on it right out of the gate. So Mac actually cut this off for me and so now the back is exposed which I like a lot more. So the way this works is it has this little buckle here and you bend it up and that's how it opens and then you put it underneath your bra and you buckle it, so like that. And then it's supposed to tuck underneath your bra like that, not like this. If you do it over your bra, it's not gonna conceal really and it's not the way it's supposed to be worn. So it's supposed to go underneath your bra like that, so. They do come with different sizes for these straps. You can change them out depending on how thick the middle of your bra is. So you can wear these with sports bras that are sometimes thicker in the middle. But I've got this one on for like a regular size bra. So let's put it on and I'll show you how it conceals. Okay, I was just editing the video and I forgot to mention that this strap, you can also put it underneath the bra this way and that will lift the gun up higher. So you put the bra this way so that way it tucks the gun up higher underneath your bra I just that doesn't work for me <laughs> but that is an option okay here we are with my trusty mirror uh, it's concealing pretty well this shirt is a little baggier so that that helps a lot but I do have it on under here there's the bottom of the gun it is hooked into my bra right there it's not really that uncomfortable, honestly, but my midsection is very short. So if you have a long torso, this might work better for you. It's not that comfortable for me. Another thing is that reholstering is not awesome with this. I've pinched myself before and it hurts pretty bad. Um, so you definitely have to be careful on the reholster. But let's see how the draw goes so we can have a more comprehensive overview of the flashbang holster. I always like to remind you guys that my body is different from yours. So something that 
really works really well for me might not work well for you and something that works well for you might be terrible on me. I've known some women personally who love the flash bang, who conceal in it awesome and they wear it every single day. For me, it's just not my number one choice. It's probably not even in my top 10, but I wanted to share it with you guys in case it's something that might work for you. I mentioned that the reholstering with this is not awesome for me. So I'm gonna go slow on my reholster. I'm probably not gonna show that on camera, but I'll do some draws, reholster, draw again so that you guys can see how the draw goes. Okay. The draw feels a little awkward for me. I don't, I don't love it. It's like a, an awkward draw. I don't wear this very often, so I'm not used to this draw. And this is a good way to show you guys why it's so important to practice with your holsters. Because if I just bought this and I threw it on, and went out into the world and needed to draw my gun, I wouldn't really be fast with it, and I don't want my life to depend on that kind of draw. I want to be really quick with my draw and not even have to think about it. But something that's mostly new to me that I don't use very often is going to slow you down. So if you get a holster, if you're going to start wearing it, make sure that you practice with it a lot. Okay? This is like coming to you in real time. That was a little better. Okay, it can be a pretty fast draw if you train this way and you practice with this holster. But that's the same with any holster, just practice it with, with it a lot and you can get really fast with them. Okay, real quick, thoughts on the flash bang. I modified mine, which might be why it's pinching me. I just didn't like the initial design and how it completely covered the back of the gun because it doesn't allow you to get a full grip on it when you initially draw. I'd say that if you have a larger cup size, it's probably gonna work better for you. Um, and if you have a longer torso, I have a short torso, so it doesn't work so well for me. I just don't have a lot of space to play with in that area. We had a family thing today, so I wasn't really carrying a gun, but I did want to go over this holster and show you guys what it's like. In case it's something that you want to try out, I'll link it below. Um, so now let's pick a pepper spray winner from yesterday's video. And tomorrow I'll be coming at you with a brand new holster. The winner for the Palm Pepper Spray from yesterday's video is Pamela Crittenden. So I'm going to contact you, Pamela, so that you can get your palm. Congratulations, and for everybody else who commented on my video, thank you so much. It really helps my channel when you guys engage with my videos like that. So if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button. Leave me a comment below so that you can win a pepper spray that I'll announce in tomorrow's video. And I'll see you back here for day 9 of my 12 days of carry. I hope you all stay safe and have a great day. Bye!